Hey, welcome back to another In Stereo session. We're here at Factory Studios, and here's Cherry Glazer. That was Self Explained by Cherry Glazer uh, off their new album, Stuffed and Ready. I'm here on the sofa with Clem. Clem, Hi. good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, all good. Welcome to the UK. You're in the middle of a Thank pretty you. extensive tour. How's it all been going? It's been going great. Yeah, we feel really lucky to be out here. Last night we did London and it was epic. And we played in Dublin and Glasgow. That was also really epic. I'm just seeing our Caledonian cousins. Exactly. But there. So where are you off to next? There's a, quite a long leg in Europe. You've already done the yeah. States. Yeah, we have done the States. We've been touring pretty much nonstop since the album came out. Um, so we've been on the road for three months with a few days off at home. And yeah, it's been amazing. It's been a real like we're in the flow of it now. Being on the road is very natural to me because playing with my friends is like so much fun and is like everything I could have ever hoped and dreamed of and I feel so lucky to be able to play every night so in in that way I feel infinitely grateful and lucky fantastic well I mean it's a great band yeah. you guys 
definitely sound like you've been on the road for Thank you. long enough to know it what's going on. It is a great on. band. We have the best crew and we have the best fans. Tell me a bit more about sort of the background behind the album, a little bit about the writing process. Um, it definitely seems a little bit more personal than mm. previous records. Um, is that a conscious thing? Yeah. Well, is it a conscious thing? I don't know. I think it's kind of sub-perceptual the way that you grow as a writer. But I definitely took a step back and, and looked and noticed that it was definitely a more um, direct sort of self-explanatory record, hence self-explained. Do you and think that others. comes, uh, obviously you started so young, I mean, uh, mm. was it 16 when the band started in the mm -hmm. first place? Yes. Um, so what's that, nearly eight years uh, mm -hmm. of working with them? and. Do you think that sort of your progression musically and personally has come out naturally? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Like, I'm always um, writing things in my head. Not so much words, but melodies. I don't know if it's um, very songwriterly of me to say, but I realize that I think that the melodies are more important to me than the words. And that's always what comes first. Are there any particular yeah. sort of themes that recur through the record at all? Is it is it sort of each song is its own individual observation mm. of something, or is there a, a thread through the whole thing? I mean, honestly, I I I think that it's more what you said in the first place. Like each song tells its own story in a way, um, and I wanted to focus on each song and put a lot of love and detail into each song individually and I think each one um, has a, its own sort of personal specific vibe. So um, <laughs> the, the band as it is at the moment, are you guys all originally from LA? Did you meet them sort of on the yeah, scene there? Um, yes. Tabor's been in the band for a good three years now and he's like my ride or die. He's my creative buddy and my best friend. You're Robin and to your Batman. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He is such a fun person to be with, um, doing this creative journey with. Um, and Livy is new. She has only played a few shows with us and she's been just killing it. She's one of the best bass players I've ever played with. Amazing, well good, yeah. as long as you've got a good core team. Um, oh my God, yes. How was, um, how was trying to sort of start off a career in music on the LA scene? Was it sort of quite a, uh, an inclusive, fun environment? Was it sort of nail and teeth? Oh yeah, no, no. I, I love LA because I think it's a creatively open place. And um, I think there's a lot of collaborations you can do in, in that place that feel really good and, and natural. And um, I can't think of a better place in the world to make stuff with, with folks. Amazing. The LA scene, obviously super inspiring to be around. When was your first, I just have to do music moment? When was that? Probably when I was like four or five. Um, I was writing songs and singing and running around the house singing all the time and dancing and I was just a crazy little performer and I was always and then I like you know my mom and people would tell me that I had a really good voice and so I felt very supported and um, confident I was really lucky you know I, honestly I, I mean as far as it goes I haven't gone through a ton of trauma in my life and I feel sort of like very grateful about that. I wouldn't want to co-opt anybody else's trauma. I've, as far as it goes, had a pretty easy life. That's made me um, a sort of a generally happy person. And definitely not jaded and still excited about yeah. making things. Yeah, um, definitely not jaded. I feel That's always refreshing. like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, ugh, boring. It's very easy Boo. to be cynical, isn't it? <laughs> um, so next tune we're going to hear is Daddy. Um, tell us a little bit about what that's about and then we'll have a listen. Okay, great. Daddy is about the ways in which um, the men in women, women's lives tend to, um, because of the patriarchy and the way we've all been conditioned under the patriarchy, men, women, all of the above, um, men tend to dominate the women in their lives and um, start to take on sort of paternal roles a lot of the time and it really frustrates me because I 
usually just want to be friends with my men and I don't want them to take on paternal roles, but um, we're all conditioned that way. And so it tends to happen and it can be very frustrating. So this is Cherry Glazer with Daddy off the new album, Stuff Them Ready. Subscribe for more videos like this.